Hello and welcome to Zabbix Handy Tips. In this video we will learn how to deploy Zabbix with Docker containers. Zabbix offers a large selection of official container images for different Zabbix components. You can find the list of available images on the Zabbix download page. Select the required Zabbix component and you will be redirected to the Zabbix Docker Hub page. This page contains the description of Zabbix component, a list of the available images for different versions based on multiple operating systems, as well as deployment instructions, supported environmental variables, and much more. Let's switch over to the command line interface of my host and deploy the Zabbix server component. Since Zabbix server requires a database backend, I have already deployed a MySQL instance together with an empty Zabbix database. Therefore, we will be using a Zabbix server MySQL image. First, let's create a Docker network on which our containers are going to reside. We will specify the subnet for our network segment and the IP range for the containers. We can confirm that the network has been created by listing all of the Docker networks with the docker network ls command. Next, let's deploy our Zabbix server with docker run command. We will give our container a name, Zabbix server MySQL, and assign it to our network. We will specify that the container will be restarted if it crashes and allocate a virtual terminal session with the dash t switch. Our command will also pass the environmental variables for MySQL host address and MySQL user and password. By default, Zabbix server listens to port 10051, so we will map port 10051 on our host to port 10051 on our container. For this example, we will be running the Zabbix version 5.4 based on the Alpine Linux distro. We can use the docker logs command together with the container name to check if the container is working as intended. Give the container some time to create the initial database schema. Once that is done, we should see the Zabbix server processes being started up. In addition, let's also deploy a front-end component for MySQL database backends. Once again, we will assign it to the previously created network and provide environmental variables for MySQL connections. For the web frontend component, we also need to specify the Zabbix server address and the frontend time zone. This time, we will map port 80 on our host to port 8080 on our container, since port 8080 is the port on which our web frontend is configured to wait for connections. Let's use the docker ps command to confirm that our containers have been started and are running. After we have confirmed that the containers are up and running, we should be able to log in into our Zabbix instance by using the frontend container host address and confirm that all of the components are running and are able to communicate with each other.